and they just make a tow is what it's called. And they just tow along the bottom, catching everything that, that's in its pathway. Every Sounds crab, every shark, every starfish, you know, Sounds every great. fish. And so when the nets come up, you maybe they'll tow for an hour or tow for three hours or whatever and, and come up and the deckhands sort through all the fish and the ones that they want they throw in the fish hole and the ones that they don't they use big snow shovels and shovel them out the back of the boat. Sounds very destructive. Yeah, most of all, all, 90 percent of the stuff that comes up in those nets is dead when they shovel it back overboard. A very indiscriminate way of catching fish. And that's, you know, I've been arguing that hooks are sustainable. You could fish forever with hooks out here. Because you're never going to catch them all. Fish has to decide to bite it. And there's a lot of times when they won't bite. Um, but with a net that's dragged along the bottom, you're going to get them whether they feel like biting or not. You know, and you're going to destroy habitat and, and catch a lot of stuff you don't want. You know? That's why they banned the gill nets. Um, gill nets been banned here for 10 years. I used to have gill net. They've been banned for about 10 years because they catch, you know, you get a seal, you get a bird, you get a dolphin, you get a, and, and you get what you want. You get halibut, you get, you know, you get some of what you want and some of what you don't want. And it was the birds and the seals that got everybody. All of a sudden, you know, when, when there was only 10 gill netters out of San Francisco, it was one thing. And when there was 50, there was too many birds and too many seals were washing up on beaches. And, uh, that's what, you know, public outcry and gill netting was banned. And, and it really should be banned. It should be banned worldwide, I think, but <laughs> that's a whole other deal. But it's like you, like, you fished off the beach enough. You, you could fish out there with your little hook forever and ever and never catch all the fish there were out there. Hmm. Yeah. But if you put your mind to it with nets and traps and technology, you might be able to get the last one. So I would say that my warning to the future generations of fishermen is watch out, protect yourself against yourself, make your fishing practices inefficient, fish the old way, and there will be fish forever. The technology is not necessarily your best friend. In the because it's not an infinite resource out there, it's a finite resource. I wonder where that fish has gone. You did love it so, you looked after it like a sack. And it went wherever I it did go. Is it in the cupboard? Yes, yes! Wouldn't you like to know? It was a lovely little fish. And it went wherever I did go. It's on the sofa! Where can that fish be? Have you drawn the drawers in the bureau? It is the most elusive fish. And it went wherever I did go. <laughs> Walk softly and carry a big fishing pole.